Llama Llama in his room. Cars and trucks go honk and zoom, racing under sheets and chairs. Mama Llama calls upstairs. Time to pick up all your toys. Why is Mama making noise? Mama says it's cleaning day. Llama only wants to play. Mama says to make the bed. Llama Llama shakes his head. We all have a job to do, even little llamas too. What if Mama never cleaned? Imagine that. What would that mean? If Mama didn't dust or mop, she'd toss the rags and off she'd hop. She'd take the clothes all clean to wear. And throw them up into the air. No doing laundry any more. Just drop the towels upon the floor. She'd pull the sheets right off the beds, and wear the blankets on her head. She'd leave the pots and pans and plates, and dance around on roller skates. Then zoom into the living room to make a fort with mops and brooms. She'd have herself some crunchy snacks and throw the bags behind her back. Crumbs and clothes and peanut shells. What's this thing? What's that smell? Messy counters, dirty drawers. Where is Mama? Where's the floor? Everything's a disarray. Llama has no place to play. Clutter, chaos, and distress. No more llama. Mess, mess, mess. Grown-up llamas clean. That's true, but little ones can pick up too. Llama, llama nods his head. Maybe we should clean instead. Llama Llama picks up blocks, puts them all into his box. Books go back upon the shelf. Llama puts them there himself. Are there things beneath the bed? Check and see. Lift up the spread. Look what Llama Llama got. Each thing has its special spot. Llama pulls the sheet up tight. Mama tucks the quilt just right. Lots of space to play with Mama. Guess who's proud of Llama Llama?